This bottle costs 1,000 yuan, but this bottle costs 200. So what really is the difference between a bottle of champagne and average sparkling wine? Well, I'm your great guru, Lindsay, and this is my job to teach you about wine, put the snobbery aside, and certainly make it accessible to all. Now, my topic for today is what really makes champagne considered to be still the finest sparkling wine in the world? Well, let's find out. Unlike the movies where you see people popping open the, the cork and it's spraying everywhere, that is not the way to do it. You're supposed to actually hold the bottle and the cork at the same time, turn the bottle, not the cork, turn it slightly until you just feel the pressure and hold it on there so you don't actually waste any wine. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. A Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. Okay, let the tasting begin. Can you guess which one is champagne just by looking at Oh, just by looking. Bubbles? I'd say this one is champagne because the bubbles are smaller. But you actually guessed them right. This is the champagne. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's champagne. That's champagne. That's very sweet. Yeah, you're actually right. This is champagne. I think it's better. Can have. And I tell you what, a really good top tip from me, you can actually tell quite easily straight away if someone's drinking normal, average sparkling wine or champagne. Now, the way in which you do it very quickly is if I pour some out here, with cheaper sparkling wines, the bubbles are bigger and they're lost very quickly. Also, it's really quite light and zesty. In the case of champagne, the bubbles are actually smaller, there's more of them, and they last a lot longer. But how do they actually achieve these differences? What about if I told you that the, the champagne is actually a thousand yuan, and this one is only 200 RMB? So, you should be a little bit. It's only 1,000 yuan. It's only 1,000 No, maybe cheaper. If someone else was buying, maybe. Ah, okay. <laughs> So I would conclude from my blind tasting excursion today that while so many people try to replicate that flavour of champagne, they can't quite capture that unique flavour. But also, as we've seen today, so many people don't actually like that yeasty, toasty flavour. So really, it's a matter of personal taste. Last but not least, the best way to enjoy champagne is with food. Don't just use it as a toast. Use it with a fine meal as a starter or with the classic combinations of oysters or of course, strawberries. Thanks for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Go Grapes, sponsored by Guess My Wine. Cheers.